door open? Ugh. Wait, why are all the windows open? Because there's no air conditioning on. Yes, but it's raining. It's okay, Dave. There. It's not raining. Yeah. Mom, it's raining. Dave, just is it coming in the window? Yes. Hello, everyone. We'll be just a moment as we deal with our raining situation. We're not used to rain here in Colorado, so. It's beginning to look a lot like oh, Christmas. Wait, sure. What? YouTube just smacked you. <laughs> just kidding. Donna, Mindy, okay, at what Donna. point does it become fair use? Shit. That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go have a discussion with YouTube. We never did hear back from that. I know, it's making me mad too. All right. Donna is leaving tomorrow for Ireland. Woohoo! All right, guys, Christmas in July. Dining on a Dime cookbook. It is on sale with free shipping. Our ebooks are on sale, 50% off. Go grab them if you want them. This is our huge Christmas in July sale that we have, you know, once a year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it's Christmas in July. What? So we're celebrating Christmas in July, and we're celebrating something very special that's happening Sunday. What? Mom's B-Day party. It's no. Give, it's Give Mom All the Kisses She Wants Day. It's Give Mom All the Kisses She Wants Day. Everyone mm -hmm. send over the smoochy faces mm -hmm. on Facebook. <laughs> oh, Give Mom All the Kisses <gasps> She Wants. So we Catherine are... 103 in Texas. Ooh, Wanda. I hope you're not like losing your island. That's not good. She's in Hawaii. <gasps> oh my. So now we know how our friends in Australia feel. We have the oven on 100 or 400 degrees cooking dinner because I thought it was going to be cooler and we feel like we're about to have a stroke. So here we so, are at our Christmas where it's... This is what it's like in Australia when they have Christmas and they do the Yule log, you know, and a fire for Christmas. And... Except we don't have any place to surf around here. That's true. Okay, <laughs> so... We have to be done on time today, so we are doing... Why? What's going on? <laughs> You're joking, right? Oh! Oh, right, right, right. Okay, Wait, never mind. The thing? Okay, so... <laughs> what is going on? I had no memory of that. VBS is tonight at 6.30, so oh. we have to be done. So we are making five things that you can make for Christmas right now and start getting ahead of time. Now, these are gonna be like um, gifts in a jar. I'm gonna make some soap and show you how to make some soap. Those kinds of things. Um, simple, easy things that will last until Christmas, but you can get it done now. All those teacher's gifts, all those mailman gifts, all those kinds of things, although the mail is really leaving a lot to be desired, lady. Valerie, we are not going to the Hoot Nanny. I would love to go, but to have to drive four days to spend two days there just if isn't really were, worth it. If there were transporters, we would go. <laughs> yes, if there were transporters, this fly will not leave my. Okay, there. Now, first one we're gonna make Swiss mocha. Mix dining on a dime cookbook on sale, free shipping right now. Or either our ebooks are on sale too. Do we have it Let's on get going. After Dave gets his ramen, instant coffee. So you're gonna put your instant coffee in. Okay. Now this is best if you can do it in a blender. I'm not going to simply because I did not have space to add to this conglomeration for the blender. Is this the same one right here? Then. Mm -hmm. Mike is putting a link up for you. Oops, okay, well, we'll just guess. I lost my measuring thing. Then you're gonna add your sugar. Then... I thought it was prepared. You're gonna add your milk. No, you think you lost your mind. Wait, what? I think you're talking about me. Yeah. Then you're gonna add <laughs> your cocoa. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Then you're gonna stir this around. 
dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So we're, I'm just pushing down all of the little lumps for cocoa. You don't have to do this in the blender. It works just fine if you don't. The blender just makes the coffee granules a little more, um, uh, what do you call it? A little more fine, I guess. And then you're just gonna add a titch of vanilla and get that all mixed in, okay? It's funny, I was listening to my music today while I was doing the work. Mm -hmm. And after the playlist ended, it just went right into the Christmas music. Oh, <laughs> like, isn't that wonderful? Hey, I wish we could play these songs on YouTube, but. <laughs> hey, if you guys are like me and love Christmas music all year round, we have a Christmas music <gasps> video that we did. I am one of those people that I listen to Christmas music in July. So Carla's asking, do you just make it by knowing it? Do you just remember the recipe? Well, I have the recipe right here. So I've... Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 349. I'm just guesstimating. I mean, okay, here's the deal. I left my measuring spoons over there, and it's not worth me going and fighting to get them. So I also I shared just guesstimated. the link to the recipe on our website, because this one is on our website, in the comments. And it's also on our show notes at livingonadime.com. Click yeah. on show notes. Now, you can get these little bags. They're just little treat bags. Not very expensive. Actually, I should have you go get a link on Amazon for them for, so they can know where to get them. And then, now, they come with a little um, twist tie, but I would use a ribbon normally. But, of course, I'm not prepared, so I forgot the ribbon too. Then, you can just take, and you have a cute... Amazon oh, treat bags. Um, you just have a cute little packet here. And then what I do is I print out a label on my printer and put it on before I put it in here, or I stick one, yep, right there. This one or that one? Uh, either one, that one's probably better. Um, then I can do a ribbon and just punch a hole and put it through that way. That is another way to do that okay we had a couple so that is the swiss smoker mix there we had a couple of what well one person was asking what it was you're making because she said she had a migraine and didn't catch it when you said it <laughs> so. um this is the swiss smoker mix in dining on a dime page 349 this is a christmas um christmas what do you call it um Make ahead gift that you can use. Okay, so get that set to the side there. Mike's gonna be having him some Swiss mocha. Yay! And then, um, sorry, I'm a little I'm trying to catch up on the comments. Cindy, oh sorry, Bonnie said you can make this with soy milk powder if you're lactose intolerant. I did not know that. Oh yeah, you probably could. Yeah. You could probably do coconut if they have coconut milk powder too. You could probably do that too. So this link is for what? What is this called? Uh, the treat bags. Michael put the link there in the description for you. Hi guys. They can't see you. Oh. The camera's down. I don't know where Dave the cameraman went. Do you mean to go fix that? Okay. Swiss Mocha, page 349. So the next one we're gonna do. All right, sorry, I'm finally sharing that link for the cellophane treat bags to your guys. The, whoops, where'd it go? Right here, page 347. Dining on a Dime cookbook, Sorry, the computer's Russian so. tea mix. Now, this, hold on, let me clean out my bowl here. I do not want to defile my bowl with coffee. Do you want the camera tilted up now or just leave it down? Sorry, hold on. Wait a minute, where'd you put the ingredients that I had you buy at the store? Uh, they were in the bag what that bag? I brought in. I'll Where? Go look. Just hold on. <laughs> Just let him yeah, I'm doing the other order you gave me. Um. Okay. Well, we'll keep moving forward while Mike goes and finds the ingredients for this one. Um. <laughs> I thought that was for next show. Okay. Ranch dressing mix. Let's do that one. Page 365 right there. Diana cookbook half price right now. Um. So for this one... You're gonna just mix in your parsley. And I don't have any onion 
flakes, so I'm going to use onion powder, which is just fine. Get that mixed in. And then my garlic. Get that mixed in. And then my little bit of more onion because I ran out. Thank you. That's all I need right there. <laughs> Okie dokie. And then. Which one are we making now? Ranch dressing dip. Now I had a gal at church who's a viewer. Actually, she was a viewer, and then we started going to her church, and she was like, hey, Tara. I was like, uh, do I know you? She's like, yeah, I watch you all the time. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> My paprika, she said that this is the only ranch dressing that her kids will eat because they just love it that much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chill or cayenne pepper right there. And then you're just going to mix this all together like so. Doop, 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 doop. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, guys, I'm sharing that link right there to that recipe in the comments. Then you take your cute little bag here. These bags are like two cents each or something. I figured at one time, but then you're going to put it in your bag. Now, if you don't feel like going to all the work to make this, I have a very good friend whom we love to death. Patty from Alderman Farms, she <laughs> is awesome. makes it ahead of time right here for you. And you can order it straight from hers. And hers is almost as delicious as mine. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Hers is just as delicious as mine. Um, she Wait. does grind hers up a little bit so the parsley is smaller. But Who's? Mrs. Alderman at Alderman Farms. Are you sure it's that delicious? I'm sure it's that delicious. Have you tried it? Yeah, I did, actually. Really? When we were at their house, I had a sample of it. Why did um, you get to go to their house? I mean, I never got to. I know. Right here <laughs> is the ranch dressing mix. Isn't that cute? But like I said, head over to Alderman Farms. Dot. I can never remember. Is it net? I think it's dot net. If you guys it's want Alderman to order Farms that. It's Alderman Farms.net. Yeah. Um, so there is the ranch dressing one. So, um, okay, so I've been sharing the recipes in the comments. If you miss some of them, you can go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes. Uh, do you want the camera back on us or no? Nope. Okay, and also they're in Dining on a Dime cookbook, uh, um, our Dining on a Dime cookbook, which is on sale right now. Coffee Time so, wants to know how long is the sale for? We haven't quite decided yet, have we? Um, well, I said until the 30th. Okay. But you may not have gotten that memo, I guess. Well, you didn't get my memo back. So, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So, um. All sorry. right. So the Wait, next hold on, one. Hold on, hold on. Peace, Peaceful Inspiration is asking, do you put labels on the bags with directions? Yes, and I do. Somebody mm -hmm. else is yeah. asking, what is the show generally today? Today is five Christmas. <coughs> <clears throat> Five Christmas gifts you can make in July and have them ready for Christmas. Russian tea. Now, if you guys want labels, all you have to do is just take this to a photocopier, copy it on some pretty paper, and just cut a little hole and put it on the bag if you want. You can shrink it down if it's too big. Now, normally, I these are like, like well, not quite single, well, yeah, I guess single serving sizes, but normally I would make like a big bag or I would do a small mason jar or something like that you know the short mason jars like that this is Russian tea page 347 uh, Nicole wanted to know on the the ranch the dressing mix would you give it with anything particular as a gift no well so I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute okay so let me do this first okay so to make Russian tea now my grandma Tatum mom's mom she uh, uh, she has this recipe, yes. So I don't know what you said about the sale, but Cindy was asking if you said half price for the Dining on a Dime. So no, it's half, half price, price for, for the e-books, e but the Dining on a Dime e-book is, is included in that. Yeah. The Dining on a Dime print book is just free shipping. Yes. Which is still awesome. Yep. Okay, so you want your powdered orange drink here, also known as Tang. I used to love Dad drinking could not this. I not that for the life of him. <laughs> and it was sitting right there under the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I used to, um, no decaf? Oh, sorry. No. Okay. No. 
I used to drink this all the time when I would go to grandma's and I loved it, loved it. Woo! Loved it. I even love that. Uh, Marla, yes, this will be available. This will be available for replay. And if you're on the YouTube side, you can actually rewind it while it's live. So oh. this is instant tea right here. Just your regular old instant tea. Oh, Catherine's on from the Pepper Peppers. Hello, Catherine! <laughs> All right. Lemonade right there. Catherine, share this video with your affiliate link, my friend. Tell them that we're having a sale. Just a little hint there. Leslie, I don't know why you can't only see one comment at a time. I'm having the same problem. You know, the other day I got them to come up, but hover over here. Yeah, it's not there again. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, so then I'm putting in my sugar. So I've got my tea, my orange drink, my sugar, my lemon flavored drink mix, and then I'm putting in my, whoops, wrong one. Okay, my cinnamon. <laughs> Two family says, oh my goodness, Tang talked about flashbacks. I know. We Didn't we all want to be uh, astronauts drinking tank? And my spices right there. I was thinking the same thing, astronauts. That was the commercials when, way back in the ancient days when we were kids. Tang is my brother's favorite drink after Dr. Pepper. You know, we should have everybody send David a thing of tang for helping, hoping he would get better. Uncle Dave? Yes. Say, my brother is getting worse instead of better and is trying to get help but can't get any. Pamela is asking that we make the half price sale till the third. <laughs> no, not this time. We have sales all the time that go till the third, but you not. Read my email. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so Billy, the sale is, it's free shipping on the print book and half price on the eBooks. And so all you have to do is go to, uh, our, our store at, I'm sharing the link right now. Huh? It's just our store at Living on a Dime and you can get it there. Okay. The family says, hmm, maybe I should do a Hanukkah in July show. There you go. See, you got it, my friend. You got it. Okay. So here is... Your Russian tea mix, you put two to four tablespoons of this in one cup of hot water, and it is delicious. Well, two families does it out of Goshen should also do it. <gasps> yes. Okay, now, my next one. <gasps> Sigur Bjorg, I hope I said that right, says hello from Iceland. Ooh, Iceland. I've been wanting to go there. They keep popping up these Iceland trips on my Facebook page, and I keep thinking that would be fun. But. Ooh, Cindy says that. You could make these treats and include a copy of the book. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, the next one is shortbread cookies. Shortbread, nobody makes shortbread cookies anymore. And they are just like the epitome of wonderful sugarness, <laughs> yumminess. Okay, so you put your flour in like so. So the one we just made was the Russian tea, right? Yes. And this is what the see? shortbread mix. And then your shortbread mix here. Oh, wee! Ha! Now we got snow all over the place. There you go. Is this the classic shortbread? Yes. Okay, let's. Oh man, this was really good when we made it before. I'm telling you, your wife only cooks good stuff. And this you is sure? in the book? And your salt. Then you mix this around. Now. Never mind, you didn't catch that. What did you say? Insult. You made good stuff in charcoal. Oh, thanks. Now, for this one, I would put it in a mason jar and um, put it in just like, you know, just like that. Usually, I think it's the half mason jar that it works for. Now. I will say, here's a couple of tips. Dave, you can come back up for a minute. So, you could even go so far as to get several of these made up, sealed in the containers, and then get some little containers like this, put your little fluffy stuff that you get at the Dollar Tree at the bottom, 
And a tip on that is put plastic bags underneath and just use a little bit of fluffy stuff. So it brings it up. You could use, if you want to make a big one, you could do several with a few jars in here. And of course, you're dieting on a dive cookbook that you get for free shipping. <laughs> and then for all those teacher gifts and everything, you're all done in July. Now, this is a cute little fall bucket that mom got me. But, and this thing, you could rip it off if you don't want it. But what I do is when I find cute little things like this, I spray paint them for whatever color I need. Um, for whatever color I'm needing, I spray paint them and then I have the bucket to match. So normally I would do this like red, but this is green so I could just rip off the pumpkin and just color over, you know, just do a little bit of coloring over, splotchy kind of rustic paint job and do that. Okay, we now I'm going to show you my soap now that I've explained all of that, okay? Uh, we have some questions. I think you must have said half price, but that's only on the ebooks. Only the ebooks. Half, half price, price on the ebooks. The print book has free shipping though, and discounted shipping if you're out of the United States or if you're in the United States and you want priority. Um, so we had a couple questions. Alice asked, "What is the best storage for these gifts, cabinets or fridge? And approximately how long will they keep?" Oh, they'll just keep in the cabinets. Shoot, I would even just hide them in the closet, you know. You don't need, this is all dry ingredients that's shelf stable. You don't need to do anything special. And Peaceful Inspirations was wondering on the Swiss mocha, do you just mix it with water or do you mix it with milk? Water. Cool. You just mix it with water. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to make. Oh, Janet was wondering on those other ones, how much powder did you put in each bag? Just. You just eyeballed well, it. I just eyeballed it for that, but usually what I do is I fill the entire bag with it. Now, the cookie mixes, I do one full recipe per container because that's what you need for each thing. But everything else, it's by the tablespoon, what you use, so. Whoa, so Becca and Me Flag both said, yay, you finally caught you live. And Becca said, for once I, I can watch live, it's midnight here, but it's her day off tomorrow, so. We're well, so glad you're you. here. Man, that's nice. We really appreciate our friends who stay up super late. I know. Okay, now I am showing you how to make soap without lye. This is a great, easy Christmas gift. Even the kids can do it. Mom cut up the soap, but I'm going to make Dreamsicle because... I don't know if they can see that. Dave, can mm -hmm. they see that okay? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go down and just realize the camera's up. Um, so just take your melt and pour soap. This is just regular melt and pour soap. Mike will get you a link from Amazon if you want. Uh, to what? Melt and pour soap. Any particular kind? Uh, just get it up and I can show you. Now take your chunks and you're going to put them in here. I already know that I need two pounds, so that's what I'm doing for this one. And that one's good. Okay, so then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the microwave. So I just call it melt and pour soap or soap base? Uh, you can call it soap base. B wants to know, is that a Whoville hat, Mike? <laughs> uh, kind of, yeah, it is. Um, now, melt and pour soap is super easy. You're not messing with lye. It's just like it says, you melt it, you color it, and then you pour it. Um, now, I am making Dreamsicle because what happened was I made Dreamsicle and the scent morphs in cold process soap and it was a disaster. But I really wanted to make this soap because this scent is divine mm. and it works yeah, great. It does smell good. It was it Dreamsicle? Dreamsicle. It works great in melt and pour soap, but it doesn't work so great in cold process soap. So I'm making it again. And I made these little oranges right here that I'm gonna use for decorations. And I used my new orange burst mica colorant that I'm gonna be selling hopefully in a couple, like. 10 days to two weeks, I hope. This is taking me way longer than I had thought to get 
all this stuff loaded. I've got like a hundred items in my new soap supply store. I'm super excited, but it's been a boatload of work. But this is going to be the orange burst. If you're watching this later, it's on my show. Um, uh, Bernice wants to know, does Milton pour soap smell? No. The base doesn't smell. The base does not smell. You have to add fragrance. Now. <laughs> Coffee time says we're dressed like Florida people at Christmas. <laughs> Can you see our shorts? <laughs> it's actually kind of muggy and Ugh. a little hot today. Okay, now, you don't have to make a, a loaf of soap. Now, here's the loaf, which I'm going to be selling also. Here's the loaf that I'm making today's in. But, you don't necessarily... Okay, just get it going to get it melted here. Um, you don't you don't just have to do a loaf. So like you could do these cute little caterpillars for kids. I have glow in the dark um, mica that I'm gonna have in my store. This would be super cute with some green and glow in the dark for the kids. Um, here's the orange mold I used for today. Um, um, I don't know if that already asked, but Bernice Gold Bernice. wants to know, does Mountain Pour Soap smell? No, it does not smell. Um, here is a cute little cat mold I made. Cat, you could make little tiny kittens for kids. You could do snowflakes right here. Snowflakes, that would be great. All of these I got at the thrift store. This was like 50 cents a quarter or something like that. This one I did pay retail for, but it was still only two bucks. Yes. A couple things. Amanda says, my mom is using your cookbook to death, LOL. She made the pasties and her husband loved them. Oh, yay! And then Quiltea says, too funny watching you mix. No measuring for you. <laughs> yeah, actually, she's gotten to be, well, I guess you were always like that, weren't you? Yeah. But, but Tara is really good at estimating. Actually, estimating is my spiritual gift, I believe. <laughs> No, uh, I'm really good at estimating, time. so I know about how much is in there. And like I said, my measuring stuff was over there. I didn't feel like fighting it. Okay. She was lazy. So you just stir your melt and pour until it gets all melted. Mine is not all melted yet. See, there's hunks here. Let's see. Can you see the hunks right there? No, not that hunk. This hunk. This is my hunk. <laughs> Angela says, feels like Christmas again watching this. Um, okay, so we're getting close here, but we need to do just a little bit more. Some people were saying that we should have um, Christmas music in the background. Actually, we have the kind, we have that music that we, that apparently mm -hmm. is okay, right? Yeah. Because we had a problem, Tara sang a lullaby on the show about two months ago, and we got um, a lullaby the mom made up, and we got a uh, notice from YouTube that some record company has tried to claim it, but I listened to their song and it sounds absolutely nothing like it. Really hacks me off. And the words are not the same either. The only, the only similarity is the word lullaby. Oh, the weather outside is uh -huh. nice, but no, the no, no, so no, no, no. delightful. Let's that's a theme Since song to Die Hard. Place to go, which is not <laughs> a has Christmas been, movie. Has been officially announced yeah. not a Christmas movie. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh my. Um. <gasps> Barb says, got my other cookbook and my soap. Thank you. I love it. Oh, thank you, Barb. Barb oh. has been so faithful. Man. Uh, thank Karen, you, Barb. Karen is asking, can you use any fragrance with this? You can use any fragrance you want. I'm only doing Dreamsicle because it's summer. I promised my people Dreamsicle and the scent morphed in my cold process, in case you're just joining me. And I really want to do this fragrance because next summer, if we're in Ireland, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna be able to make any summer soaps. I know, it's making me <laughs> sad. I was thinking about maybe in February doing up a whole bunch of summer soaps so that they can be for sale, and then Gina, my trusty soap shipper person, could maybe ship them for summer? I don't know. Christine says, we're having a heat wave here in the UK. It's grand. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's Actually, funny. it's funny because I, I told Tara I really liked the weather 
I mean, I know it rains a lot and stuff, but... Oh, well, I would love to live it there. It never rains here, so we really miss it. Actually, well, okay, except for today, it's sort of almost trying to rain. As we're looking for places, I'm a little sad that the immigration laws are so strict over there in Ireland because I think I would really like it. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to fall in love and say, Oh, no, please, let <laughs> me stay. I'll be nice, I promise. Okay, I got it one chunk right trouble. here. It just will not melt, but I don't want to get it any more uh, any more hotter. <laughs> I don't want to get it any hotter because um, you can get it too warm. So Tammy said it's a bit cooler in Mississippi today. Well, that's good. Yay! I know Mississippi is miserable in the summer. You thought it was supposed to be cooler here in Colorado, but it doesn't. Well, I guess it's cool, but it's so humid that it's making everything feel hotter inside. Yeah. I would love some snow, 75% humidity. Whoa, where is that, Liz? Oh. So the only problem if we go to Maine. Ireland right now is figuring out what we're going to do with Buster if Ellie comes also. I don't know. Do you think we could adopt him out for three months? <laughs> you think I'm... anybody would take care of him for three months? I'm sure. Poor Buster. <laughs> it's too bad when we had another dog and... Uh, that one bit Ellie when she was a baby, and we really loved him, but we, you know, <laughs> Ellie couldn't, she was a baby, so we couldn't really do anything there. So we, <clears throat> so he went to live in retirement with great-grandpa, and, yep. and great-grandpa would take him through a drive-thru somewhere and get him his own meal. <laughs> he was totally spoiled with grandpa. Yep. Okay, I'm getting this finished. Man, this is really irritating me. This isn't melting quicker. Cindy said, I made your drop biscuits last night for dinner. Yummy. My husband Yay. loved them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my colorant. Orange Burst in my new soap supply store, which is opening soon. So, so excited. Oh, I'm Yay. sharing the Christmas in July sale link again here. So if you haven't heard about it, we're having a sale where the print books are free shipping and the ebooks are 50% off. So uh, the best I just shared that link. Oh, that's at livingoutadime.com. And yeah, it's at livingoutadime.com if you missed the, the link. Best soap supply store dot <laughs> well, I'm not telling them the address yet, Dave, because Oh, I don't even know if that's I think that was the <laughs> old one. Because I don't have it open yet, so I don't want to announce it. But if you're watching this later, it'll be in the description below. I think you yeah. And that smells really it. good. What page is this fun soap on? Donna's asking. So um, this, this is, is not on any page. So this is melt and pour soap. I am. Where is? Do you have the colorant somewhere? Not yet. Okay. It's in my new soap store, which is not open yet, guys. I'm working as hard as I can to get it open. So I'm going to share the melt and pour base again, which is what you use to make this with. Like it's easy because there's no. You don't have yeah. to worry about the lye and all that. Okay, I got one little piece that's not quite melted yet. So let me get this finished. So after the show, Dave and I are going to work on pictures to finish getting the pictures in. Okay, let's see. Did I get... Well, we've been moving so fast, I've been <laughs> missing things. All right. Um, nope. In case you missed any of these links and you want to see them, you can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes. And Here, all these links this. are in the show notes. Let's see if this works. Don't try this at home, folks. Yeah. yeah. This is, Who this gave is, you a knife again, woman? This is a tar thing. Oh, did you guys hear? I stabbed my foot with the knife. Oh, man, it was not feeling pleasant. Okay, let's see. Ooh. I know. I can just see oh. all the comments I'm going to get. Don't try this at home. So I don't know if we're wanting to get into that story yet, but okay. a couple of people have asked about the washer and dryer. Oh, the washer and dryer. I don't know if we have time for that today. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> we do have a functioning washer and dryer at this time. Well, we need we to discuss to that. that. Uh-oh. We did thought we did. Did you explain why you sprayed it? Okay. So, I think... Okay, so I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol to get the mica to dissolve in here better. Because otherwise it'll clump. Okay, so there we go. So, I'm pouring in my fragrance. Oh. All that yummy luscious Karen wants to know, can essential oils be used for the fragrance? Yes, yes. you may use essential oils if I you would prefer. You put fragrance in this one. Okay, so, oh no, I had a clump. Okay, it's fine. so, 
Jennifer said they've gotten quite a bit of rain in Boulder today. Yay, Jennifer! Oh wait, Jennifer's in Boulder? Yes. I did not know that. Yes. I'm so confused. Okay, let's see. Where did my clump go? Did it melt? It may have melted. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for a bit. I'm going to spray it with rubbing alcohol and get that off the top. I got something right there. No idea what that was. Let's hmm. see. Okay. So I'm going to let this sit for just a little bit and then we're going to do the second layer, okay? So let me wipe this out. Um, hold on, i got to get a clean... Okay. I forgot about the Christmas car video. <laughs> yeah, BJ's Christmas car. Okay, so now I'm wiping out my container and we're going to go melt the white melt and pour which I have is right here. Okay. Doopy 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 doo. Boink. Doo doo doo. -doo. Okay. Probably. Mm -hmm. mm, let's see. How much do I need? That's two pounds. And I need just over. This is probably enough. Okay, so I'm going to melt my white melt and pour. Here, let's scoot this over. Now see these bubbles? I'm going to spray it again to get rid of all these little bubbles. There we go. I'm going to cut these up into smaller pieces. All right. So I forgot, and I'm sharing the link right now. Tara mentioned about the Christmas music video that we had made. Dave made a nice animation, and there's what? Just, no. just music that plays in the background. If you're interested in that, I just shared the link. And it's also... They put in the show notes yet? It is also in the show notes. So if you're in the mood for Christmas in July, there you go. Okay, so now we're gonna melt this. <laughs> Jennifer said, remember when you used to do cherry pie soap? You're so creative that you could do whole pies. You know, oh. I haven't made cherry soap in a year and a half. <laughs> I have no desire oh. to make any more. Somebody's trying to get your attention. Hello, my brother. So, so brother dear, I told everyone they should send you Tang as a get well present. So if you get... You think David would, would love 15 containers of Tang? 16. Yes. 15. 150 um, containers of Tang? So we had some other... 140. So Brenda asked, why does hot process soap stay soft? Um... Well, hot process soap? Well, it says HP soap, so I assume that means... So, it's just a matter of the water um, evaporating. So, like, if you left it for six months or a year, it would get hard. It just has a higher water content, usually, than cold process. Because you need it so that it doesn't burn in the crock pot or doing the stick blender. And, let's see... Uh, Jamie asked, why are you going to Ireland? Just because we can. Just for fun. Next summer. Yeah. Just yeah. for fun. It was, we kind of wanted to go and get a break and get away. And... We were going to try and go this year, but by the time we made the decision, it was a little too quick turnaround, so we couldn't do it. Um, yeah. Oops, I was looking to see if I can't find BJ's Christmas Lights car video. Okay, so let me just look oh, and see. Okay, I'm about to have a stroke. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Woo! Let's see. Oops. Oh, I already passed that one along to you. Okay. Okay. Oops, um, let me see what other comments, questions we have. Milton Boar is fun. Where's Jack? Jack? Hi Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Are you ready for BBS? Oh, yeah. your mom says. Your mom says if we if we she doesn't go, he can stay. Although we're gonna try to drag her along anyway. So basically, the idea about Ireland is we just Ellie and I went last year. And we realized we could probably go with a larger group for not a lot because it didn't cost Ellie and I that much. And we thought it'd be fun to hang out, but also to take a break, but also to maybe show people why you do frugal living. <laughs> like, well, the whole point of living frugally is so you can do the things you want, despite what you nasty trolls keep saying. But that is the point of, of frugal living. And... Um, so now that we are making more money, 
we can do that. And we haven't been on many vacations. We've been on a couple, but not a ton. And um, we're not one of those people that goes to Disneyland and spends ten, fifteen thousand dollars every year. I was gonna say so. we we've kind of figured we can go to Ireland all summer long for less than most families spend to go to Disney for one or two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so. And we need a, a long vacation because we haven't had a vacation in a while. So, well, we're thinking about going to Silver Dollar City too in October, so we're really going to have our vacations. Yay! So you know what I've decided? We haven't had one in a long time though. Well, I have decided every three months we need to take a week's vacation. Every how many months? Three months. Well, yeah. Actually, nice. we should do every two months and be like the Europeans and every two months take a week's vacation. Your brother says he loves Tang. I know. My brother loves Tang. So, my poor Me brother too. isn't getting much help with his back problem and it's getting progressively worse. And finally, he got one doc to run more tests the other day, but he's just very tired of dealing with doctors. Jesse said, I'm so making these baskets for gifts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's great, and you can do it ahead of time. Okay. Tell me if I run into oh. anything. You have a lot of fans. Are you running into something? Okay. You're running into my kisses. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fans of your pie soap. Oh, do you guys like my pie soap? The one that you used to make for the, the cherry shop. You know, after I made tons and tons and tons of bars of cherry soap, I got kind of burned out making cherry soap. <laughs> oh. Dave, so I haven't made any for a year and a half. Yeah. I'm sure David knows probably, but just in case you didn't know, David, Stormy said, looks like Supergirl has a new outfit. What? What? No way. Hmm. Okay, so we're letting the bottom layer, you know, I don't know. Should I let the bottom layer cure or should I do a swirl? Hmm. I don't know if this is going to get hard enough fast enough. Because I need this to set up before I can pour this on. And then I need this to set up before I can put these on. Before I can put my little, um, whatchamajiggies on. I should have made the soap Oranges. first. Yeah. Hmm. Donna says, went to the Christmas music link and love it. Thank you. That awesome animation on there was one that Dave made. Oh yeah, I need to redo that. Animation? I really gotta redo that. Which one? Oh. What? Why are you looking at me? I'm, <laughs> I'm not... Mom's looking at me. I'm just... Odd. I'm not looking. She's like, what's up, uh, Okay, so, um... You got to go. Karen says, oh my word, I've wanted to go to Ireland for 30 years but have no one to go with who, who can pay their own way. I want to go to Galway. Actually, where we were looking is north of Galway on the Connemara, Galway. which is really beautiful. Wait, we're going Do we Galway? need to have a meetup in Ireland? That would be awesome. Um, okay, wash and dry. Well, this is setting up. I'll tell you what happened. So, all day Saturday, like seven hours, we decided to go ahead and try and fix the old washer and dryer. The washer was clogged with a pen. That's why it wasn't draining. With a pen? A pen. And the dryer, hey, Shelly, how are you? Well, thunk, thunk, um, thunk, 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 squeak. But then, squeak. yeah, then the dryer was making horrible, horrible noises. Thumping <laughs> <laughs> <And, laughs> noises. <laughs> yep, just like that. So Mike like, tore the dryer apart. We literally. found out it was the rollers. Yeah, and 90% of the dryer in the end was was completely dismantled. <laughs> yes, 95% of the dryer was dismantled. We had a huge mess, took like seven hours, but we got the dryer back and it's actually working better now than it was before, which really ticks me off. No. Uh -oh. Because I paid $250 for a repairman to fix it before, and... Um, he didn't do it right. And I kept telling him, this is not done right. And he's like, oh no, that's the only way I can do it. There's nothing else I can do. And I even complained. And they're like, nope, there's nothing else we can do. So Mr. Knows Nothing About Dryers here puts it back together and it works better than the dude I paid 250 bucks to fix in the first place a couple of years ago. I was so mad, so thank you. You're welcome. 
Uh, here, here, so just what's smooch. wrong then? Huh? So what's wrong then? Well, so then today I went to do a load of laundry. Uh-oh. And I don't want it to happen, but it kept beeping at me. It kept beeping at you? Yes, oh, it kept that's... beeping at me. You don't know why? No. Was that because you smacked the computer board on the back wall on accident? So, I don't know, so we're going to have to watch. That was in the dryer. I, oh. only, uh, I only did one load today. BJ did a load and it wasn't beeping, so I don't know. Your brother says big news, not going to share it here yet. Oh. Nothing to do with my back pain. Uh oh. Well, tell me and I'll share it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm only... Our friends out of Goshen, they made what? an offer on a house. Somebody was asking if you made an offer on a house. No. <laughs> I didn't. I wish. Actually, I have to say I'm kind of depressed we're not moving. I was really looking forward to moving and getting settled. Do you, I realize now I have never ever lived in a house where I felt like it was home. Ever. Hmm. Ever. Mom kept our house really nice on Topeka, but it never felt home to me. Hmm. I know. Yeah. Um, hmm. So I would like to have a home someday. And I was hoping it was now, but I guess it's going to be later. Well, <laughs> I'm not convinced that if we moved that you would think it was like at home. Don't forget on Wednesday's show you have to sing happy birthday to me. Oh, yes. On Wednesday's show. Wednesday. Why not Wednesday's Monday? until Sunday. Well, I know, but... But don't you need a... There's not a show until then. We can have Monday the day after. Speaking of which, I got a couple of things in the mail while that's setting up. Should I open them? I got from Miss Margaret, our wonderful viewer, Miss Margaret. We love Miss Margaret. She's so wonderful to us. So uh, Linda says my na my last name is Limerick. Just found a castle in Ireland named Limerick. I wonder if I could just move in. <gasps> oh, thank you, Margaret. Woohoo! She gave me a beautiful bookmark. Looks like she made it. Oh, and she gave me some thrift store money. Thank you, Margaret. You are so sweet. I think I am going to go to the thrift store on Saturday, actually. Wait, Dad, where's the ka-ching sound effect? Cha-ching. Okay, and this is from Finnegan in Ohio. I have no idea who that is. What is it? Squitchy. Oh, is this another... <laughs> It's oh, another linen. Oh, that thank is you. Awesome. Oh, that one's cool. It's another linen towel, I think, because she's, I think she, was she the one that sent, happy birthday. Yay. Yes, she was the one who sent me the other towel. Oh, thank you so much. She was hoping we would move to Michigan. I'm sorry. I'm she thought it was sorry. pretty and... Okay, I got something to say about that, actually, while we're waiting for this to do. Thank you so much. I'm loving my linen towels. So I had a couple of people get really rude with me and say how they're unsubscribing and they can't believe that I'm such a horrible person saying all these mean, nasty things about Michigan. Guys, I actually liked Michigan. It's just that in the show the other day, I didn't have time to go through all the plus and minuses. So I just shared the reasons why we're not moving there. It doesn't mean Michigan's a bad state. <laughs> Calm down, take a laxative, free your colon from its bondage. I was not trashing Michigan. As a matter of well, fact, did you hear that, Dave? I, uh -oh. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to go visit Out of Goshen's new house. And I think they need to build a tiny house for us to come visit, don't wait, you Wait, can I come visit? <laughs> yes. Are we all visiting? So, here's the thing. I have no problem with Michigan. I was just stating the reasons why we weren't moving there. And you guys need to stop being so sensitive. My goodness. Actually, we have noticed a lot of people are being really sensitive about a lot of things lately. And I'm going to start selling laxatives. Usually, yeah, you can use them. usually if you think, should I be offended by this or not? You probably shouldn't be. <laughs> My <laughs> word! If you came to Colorado and said we're all I'd, a bunch of potheads, I wouldn't get mad at you. Well, and people do all the time. You know, it's kind of it's kind of obnoxious when people always say, "Oh, Colorado, how's it going with the pot?" And thinking, "I don't." I'm do gonna it, be so kind to you, but that's kind of an annoying question. That's like going to Ireland and asking him about the leprechauns. Like they only do that for the tourists, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I don't so. think my soap's gonna get done. Okay, so let me explain what's gonna happen here, and then I will probably, I don't know what I'll do. I'll have to do the rest, record the rest, and do, I'll do a video for my soap channel and record the rest. So what I'm gonna do is this is gonna cool. I'm gonna spray it with rubbing alcohol, pour on the white, let it sit for just a minute. Oops! Oh! Ah! I just dropped in! Uh, Joanne says, Joanne loves your take a laxative. Um, well, I just you? dropped in an orange. What did uh, you drop in there? An orange. Oops. Okay. And Jennifer so, says, maybe they need a hug. <laughs> I ain't giving out hugs. I, no, I, I, she's I the have, hugger. Ha, oh, oh, she, she, oh she, Jennifer yeah. can get, you know, we need to line Jennifer up and have her do the hugging session. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to rubbing alcohol this when it, when it gets hard. Then I'm going to pour the white on top. And then I'm going to let it cool for just a minute. And then I'm going to rubbing alcohol my little guys and put them on there. Go check out my soap channel. I'll put it on in a couple of days. Um, and show you uh, how to finish that. I'm sorry. I forgot it took so long to set this up. And I should have done it the first of the show. Lisa says, I lived around my life. Everything you said is true. It is. Well, she wasn't being mean. And, and there's a lot of nice, like, most people responded well, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I was not Most trying to trash the state of Michigan by any stretch of the imagination. So please, you know, if you came to Colorado and said we're a bunch of snobs, well, they are. <laughs> I mean, people are finding you very quotable today. <laughs> <laughs> Donna says for your colon, and she's got like crying emojis. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, she always... seriously. She always tells us to free our colon of its bondage. If ever we have Jennifer issues. says she's very sensitive that you called her sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, we need to go thrifting together. I think we would have fun. <laughs> Do you ever go to the Ark? I go to the Ark in Loveland. We need to go sometime. <laughs> Mary says you can't be sensitive and watch this show. That's one of the uh, many reasons I love it. Us, me, and Jamie, and, and uh, Jennifer would probably get along well going to the thrift store. And Evelyn says, happy early birthday. My birthday is Saturday. <gasps> well, happy happy early birthday. birthday. Here, <laughs> just so we don't forget on Wednesday's show, we'll sing happy birthday to you, okay? Yay. Just so we don't forget. All right, here we go. <laughs> you ready? Whoops. Happy, happy birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear Evelyn. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. My Aww, brother, I stopped on. being sensitive around my sister years ago after so many times getting hit in the head. I gave in. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you did that to yourself. Whatever. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Actually, my brother and I did not get along when we were growing up. I thought. We I just thought the ghost. story was funny about you getting knocked out and him like uh... waiting for the adults to stop talking. <laughs> 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 Uh, Heather uh, said, what's in the oven, or did you already take what uh, it was What's out? in the oven is our dinner, actually. Oops, speaking of which, I forgot to take off my foil to brown it. Oh, oh. Okay, I made some honey-baked chicken, and hopefully, I don't know if it'll be done. I'm hoping it's going to be done. <laughs> Before Mike has to leave to take Jack to VBS. Uh, so Linda said, um, sorry, I mean, why is it that you use rubbing alcohol on the soap? Well, because it pops the bubbles for um, when you have bubbles on top, and then it helps one layer of soap stick to the next layer. So, like, when this is hard, you'll spray the rubbing alcohol before you pour this, so it'll stick. Uh, Mardella, oh, sorry, not Mardella. Uh, Christine, wait. Is there any chance of a link to the soap channel? Yes, let me grab it here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a video on people being sensitive. I had someone calling me basically a racist the other day, and then for, I had... For kind of a dumb reason. Like, for, for absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason at all. And it's one of our longtime viewers who knows I'm anything but, which really hacked me off, I'll be honest. And then, um, today, I had a lady getting all over me about farmer's markets saying how I'm being hypocritical, basically, because I'm selling my soaps and it's cheaper at Target than it is for me. Guys, I have never ever said my soaps were cheaper than buying them at the store. 
Go buy them at the store if you can't afford them. Please, dude, this is my hobby. I like doing it. If you want to buy it, I don't care. I'm just telling you guys, farmer's markets are not necessarily cheaper than going to the grocery store. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. The whole point of the video was to tell you to know your prices. Thank you. <laughs> so you have a I'm stealing the free for your colon comment. <laughs> else Why? Is... This has been our thing for like the past year. Yes, Ruthann, we live in Colorado, uh, north of Denver, near Longmont. So, oops. All right. Um... There's also the bladder one. But... Ooh, Kim says, love your honey-baked chicken. Make it all the Thank time. Thank you. It's one of our most popular recipes, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Alrighty. Let's see. Um, okay. That's another thing is like, I grew up in Texas and I, I love the people in Texas and I love the parts of Texas where I was from, but it's just way too hot for either of us to live there anymore. Have mercy, people. You're going faster than we can keep up on the comments. Thank uh, you, Shumi. Bandana. Hi, Shami. Oh, hi. Hey, Bandana, Shami. Um... Or no, that's not the same one, is it? No, Shimi was at the meetup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is the same one. I didn't. Her name looked different on the end, though. Oh. Was that her last name? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was confused. Guys, two family Shimi oh, bandana. I'll put you. Whoever's on here, put your um, YouTube links on there for everybody to find you guys. Amy T said you need to live to move to Gnomesville, but wow, after that post that you posted, where it all got flooded out and all the gnomes were everywhere. <laughs> I know. I felt so sorry so, for them. So for those of you not in on that, Amy T posted a thing on Facebook with uh, Gnomesville. I'm assuming in in uh, Western Australia, in the county, in the state of Western Australia, had been flooded and there were all these gnomes all over the place. And... Yeah. Two family, would you like to be a guest on tonight's live stream? Tonight? What? Uh, well, I guess message me as soon as we're done, like in two seconds, because... I maybe asked. could. Um, I don't remember. What time do you start? 7 our time, I think? Is it 7 or 8 our time? I don't know. Um, let me see. I don't look very good. Are you guys doing faces now? I haven't watched your, your stream for so long. I'm sorry. No offense. I pop in and out. Um, <laughs> Weedy Garden need... wants to know what home feels like. Well, and somebody else is I don't saying... Know. Um, Somebody else was saying, if heaven is your home, which is true. That's true, but if I've got another 40 years left, hopefully I don't. If I have another 30 years left, then I don't want to be feeling like I'm homeless all the time. I'm always moving. I never feel feel like I'm settled. Oh, okay, Ruth is... <laughs> That that's okay. Some of us just have a wandering spirit. Do you think I have a wandering spirit? Oh, yes. yes. Actually, <gasps> we were watching. <laughs> Should I tell them about the movie and your theme song? Yes. Mm. What, was the, what was it you said before about me? You said something about me, which I responded to with that. What was it? I can't remember. It was pretty good. We should record. We should replay these things. We were watching. We were watching The Greatest the Showman. Showman. And we were. I forgot what Tara said was my. Was it my theme song or something like that? I said, your theme song is Never Enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> never Enough. Never, never. <laughs> no, we're going to get demonetized, though. <sighs> That's funny. Okay, guys. We got to go. It's VBS. Hopefully dinner is going to be ready in just a few minutes. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. I may or may not be on Two Family Homestead tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I will be no, gone. I'll so it would have to be Tara. Mike's going to be gone. Um, what? and what we will see you on Wednesday. I'm making chocolate truffles for our Ooh, Christmas in July. We should have the music by then. We should get the music. Well, all you have to do That's is hit play. Mike the tech guy. Well, yeah, but we can't play it on the scene. But yeah, we can play it in the background. We can do Why that. not? Because if we're playing on the... Well, this... Okay. You're right. <laughs> do you need to free your colon of its bondage? <laughs> Actually, if we play it off your computer speakers, it won't sound good on the microphone. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so, okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. Please visit <laughs> us at livingonadime.com. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>
That was a quick show. Holy moly. <laughs> it was an hour.